What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I am a gamer and I have a lot of backlog, but even though I have a lot of backlog, when I find games on sale, if I don't have them and haven't played them, I try to pick them up, at least when they're on sale, put it to my backlog, and eventually I know I will play it, because lately I've been clearing up a lot of my backlog. So today is another pickup video. Most of these are going to be digital. Most of my pickup videos are digital games that I purchased off the PlayStation Store. But today I actually have a physical copy. And I actually purchased two copies because I ended up finding a better deal somewhere else after I already purchased the first copy. So let's get right into it. Up first is Star Wars Battlefronts. I purchased this one for $6.50 on the PlayStation Store. I think it was prior to the summer sale a while back. Now this game, the reason I got it is because this past summer, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was free for PS Plus subscribers, and I played it, and I absolutely loved the game. As of right now, I'm really, really close to platinuming. It's just some of the fighter ones for being in the air, in the fighter jets, and the spaceships, are really challenging to me. So I'm really grinding out trying to get the platinum for it, but since I loved the game, I loved the story mode, I loved everything about Star Wars Battlefront 2, for $6.50, I decided to get the first Star Wars Battlefront because I've heard great things about it and definitely plan on playing it very, very soon. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I had so much fun with the second one that was free for PS Plus. I thought, why not check out this game? The next game, I know it's probably not for everybody, but that is Fire Pro Wrestling World. This game was actually $20.00. And I picked it up because it looks like, as you guys know, I love wrestling, but it also looks like it would be a very easy game to platinum. I've never played any of these ones before. However, I did not enjoy it. The only thing I enjoyed about it is how it was kind of like a 90s pixelated wrestling game. I thought that was a really interesting aspect that they did with it and to continue doing that. Of course, it included New Japan wrestling wrestlers, so nothing from really North America. The one thing I did not like is moving, the actual fighting, the wrestling. I just did not like it. I didn't get used to it. It was only $20. I thought I was going to get a platinum out of it, but some of the trophies are tricky just because I can't get the buttons down and to win the matches. It's really, really hard for me. So as of right now, I have finished off as many of the trophies as I can in the game. And in my opinion, I don't plan on finishing and getting the rest of the trophies just because I'm not really enjoying the game too much. So it was $20. In my opinion, it was a loss, but I recently picked that game up and finished it to the best of my abilities. And now the game that I purchased in physical form and I actually bought two copies for is for Deadpool on the PS4. Now, whenever this game first came out, I believe it came out in 2015. I never purchased it. I never even knew it came out whenever it was first released. Recently, there's been a lot of buzz on this game on platinum and trophy groups on Facebook saying that it's a really easy platinum, really short game. So I definitely wanted to check it out because you guys know I love anything superheroes. I love Marvel. So I wanted to check out this game finally. Started looking up the value and it's actually valued between $35 and $40, sometimes more on eBay. So I knew it'd be expensive for me to buy. I ended up finding a copy for about $35 shipping included on eBay. So I purchased it. And then about a week later, before I could even start playing the game, I found a copy at EB Games for $30 plus tax. So this one was $35. I think with shipping was about $42. I found one for $12 cheaper at EB Games a week later. So right now I have two copies of Deadpool. I don't know what I'm going to do with the two copies. I was going to flip the one on eBay trying to make back some of my money from it. I don't know if I'm going to do that or give it away for a giveaway on my channel. I'd be really interested to do that. But as of right now, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with my second copy. So if there's any collectors or anybody that doesn't have this game that wants it for their collection, maybe we can work something out as well. I recently started playing the game, however, and in my opinion, it's a lot of fun. It's very easy to play. It's short, but the comedy from Deadpool is what you would expect. So it is hilarious just watching it playing through and it's really quick. Some of the trophies right now are giving me a little headache, 
but I haven't really gotten into it and gotten into rhythm. I've just been playing it for fun as of late. So if I get more into it, trying to get the platinum and trying to finish it to get the platinum, I'm sure I can, because this one, in my opinion, would be a nice platinum. Now this game here, I realize now it is actually considered a rare game for the PS4. The main reason for that is because most retailers do not get this game and cannot sell it. And the PlayStation Store itself, I believe Xbox is the same, where it's been taken off the store because of copyright concerns with the music they used in the game. So it is rare for that aspect of it's harder to find now. Of course, you can find it on, I believe, Amazon, uh, eBay like I did, or like I found my second copy, EB Games. You can rarely find it there or even on Facebook Marketplace or other groups like that. I'm sure Craigslist, you can find copies of it but it still is considered a rare game because they took it off the PlayStation Store because of copyright issues. So that to me, I thought it was interesting and that's the only reason why I paid $42 for the first copy and $30 for the second copy is because it is now the first rare game that I have in my collection. So in my opinion, it's a lot of fun. I like how it's basically comic uh, related, the design in the game, it's really comic forward and it looks like it's a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to go for the Platinum of this game, and I can't wait to get that because that'd be a nice one to add to my Platinum list. So these are the recent game pickups that I've gotten. Like I said, with the second copy of Deadpool, as of right now, at the time I'm recording this, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the second copy. If I'm going to post it on eBay to try to flip it and make back some of the money I'd purchased it for the first copy, the $42, try to make that back. Or if I'm going to just try to... Uh, use it as a giveaway on the channel. I'll decide in the future and let you guys know in a future video. But that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave this video here. I did pick up some more games, but I'm going to wait until the next pickup video to share them with you guys because I have a lot of games that I recently picked up, but I'm also clearing out a lot of my backlog. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.